Hello and welcome to your daily dose of AI. There is this website called AI Apply that instantly generates answers to interview questions based on your resume. This guy integrated this feature with his AI clone for a job interview, and the interviewer didn't suspect a thing. Hi, Aiden, how are you? Where are we calling from today? I'm doing great, thanks, and I'm in London. I've been looking forward to discussing this opportunity with you today. Great stuff. Uh, if, it's, if it's okay with you, I'd like to dive straight into it. Can you tell me about a product that you've launched that you're proud of and why? Certainly. One of the products I'm most proud of is a mobile app that we designed to streamline online shopping for customers. It integrated AI-driven recommendations and a highly intuitive UI. Okay, this is a little weird. If you ask ChatGPT to choose any random number between 1 and 100, it almost always chooses 42. On the first day after its launch, Midjourney generated this photo for the prompt, a pretty young woman in her mid-twenties wearing a natural smile on her face, with a blurry urban background behind her. But for the same prompt, this is what Midjourney generated on the 637th day since its launch. You can clearly see the spectacular difference between the two outputs. It shows the speed by which generative AIs are advancing. Here is a visualization from Stanford University that shows the advancement of AI in terms of various parameters. In this graph, you will notice that most of this growth has been achieved in the last seven years after 2017. A Denmark-based company is building these AI-powered robotic arms that will automatically fill your car's tank when you arrive at a gas station. That's all for today's video. See you on the next one.